My friend FaceTimed me and was like, was like, yo, Lisa from Blackpink use your song. And I was like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. At six years old, you became obsessed with skateboarding mm -hmm. and you even wanted to pursue it um, professionally. So can you tell me you're a tomboy without telling me you're a tomboy? <laughs> uh... I think uh, I know I know what I want to say. I, I probably yeah. like because because I had a lot of guy friends and girls would get jealous of me. Yeah, like, I feel you. You and I the like both. Yeah, it's like because I got along. I got along with with girls and boys, but yeah. boys were like like my go to. So mm, man, I think it'd probably be that like with like maybe like being kicking it with the dudes more than like my homegirls, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Absolutely, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so moving on to your music, people started noticing you more after Lisa from Blackpink right. danced to Tomboy. Yep. So, and I saw you recently on your Instagram, you recently spoke to her, that was so cool. Um, but how did you discover her dance cover? Um, I discovered it from well, first off, it, I've, I've always been a Blackpink fan and Lisa's yeah. like a favorite member. Yeah, so I've, nice. I'm already familiar with, with Blackpink and their music and stuff. And um, I had it was a night where I was in the studio and I was on Instagram and, and people were like, fans were DMing me like, oh, Lisa used your song, congrats. And I was like, who's Lisa? Like, I'm not thinking Lisa. From <laughs> and my friend FaceTimed me and was like, was like, yo, Lisa from Blackpink use your song and she she's like freaking out. She's a huge Blackpink fan. So she was like freaking out. And I was like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. So I pulled it up and then sure enough, there's a video of her dancing to my song. And the song is at like already a million views. Like honestly, like it it went up like crazy. So um yeah, that was pretty much how I figured it out was the fans told me and my friend showed me. And yeah, the reaction is crazy. That's I still cool. can't yeah, I'm still sure. I love that. So I want to dive right back into your song, Tomboy. Um, okay. Your music video, it was so cool. Um, yeah. What what What's your favorite part about that song? My favorite part about that song, I feel like is probably the pre, the my mama said, marry a rich man. But I was like, mom, no, mom, like I'm the rich man. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think, that, I think that line is, is the most stuck out like quote of you know the song and um that was like the most empowering you know powerful quote like i said you know that that yeah. stands out to everybody literally yeah. everybody they, they always remember that part of the song and um yeah i think that's that's my favorite part of the record for sure so you actually released your great escape ep back in 2020 what can we look forward to from you this year oh my gosh like a lot more music like literally a, a lot more, um, I usually go like a few months without posting a song, especially last year, it just was tough to put out new music and during a pandemic, yeah. it's just hard to promote it. So it's like, obviously this year, you know, hopefully this pandemic is coming to a close. Um, I'm just, just gonna stand positive and just put things out, especially now that I have new fans that are just eager to hear new songs. It's just like, okay guys, like let's roll, like let's roll this out. So. Literally yesterday, me and my team have like a timeline of all the songs we're gonna put out, the dates and everything. Um, but nice. I'll obviously, yeah, so um, yeah, I can't say anything too much about that yet, but definitely new music coming soon for sure. So you actually made your song Wave and wanted the music video to be like an escape from home quarantine. You know, COVID-19 has affected us all. So how, how do you think COVID-19 has affected you as a person, as an artist? Oh my God, girl, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> so you've been described as the new it girl of alternative R&B by Nylon Magazine. Um, but what's three words you would want to describe yourself as an artist? As an artist, uh, I definitely think I'm unique. Um, because 100%. Yeah, unique, just because I just feel like I have a lot of sound that I could deliver in my music. Um, unique, I would say sensitive as well. I'm also very sensitive. So I take, if someone like there could, I could perform my music for like 500 people. And if there's one person that doesn't like any of my songs, I will like, like be like, okay, why? 
Like, like, you know, like I would take like the 399 people, I don't care if you love it, but why do you (laughs) take my song? (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? So I would say unique, sensitive, and probably um, uh, very motivated. I would say motivated because I love challenging myself and I just love winning and I love um, just testing my limits in that, and that's how you get better at whatever it is you're doing. You're only 21 years old. You're super young. Um, where do you see yourself as an artist in about 10 years time? Oh man, I hope I'm a legend, dude. Like, I hope I'm like, Getting there. like when I think, when I think of legend, I think of Michael Jackson. I think of the Beatles. I think of Beyonce, like Beyonce's a legend. Two pops right behind you. So, hey, man, you know? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I- I mean, like, I just want to be like one of the 10 years from now. I hope I'm the biggest artist on the planet. Like, I really do. Like, I'm that's just always something that I've thrived to be. And I just want to be able to just let my music has changed my life. And, and music is so powerful that it could change anybody's lives. And so if my music can do that for the world, then it's like I done my duty, you know, and, and just getting to just share my gift all around the world, too. And yeah seeing people's faces in the crowd like that's one thing i do miss about performing is just seeing like fans just like oh like yeah not able to take their eyes off me i love that it's like such a, a great human connection well i'm pretty sure that i'll interview you in the next 10 years and you're good yes <laughs> bigger than you'll ever imagined um It'll be in person too <laughs> hey yeah for sure so to people who may not know who Destiny Rogers is just yet, um, which song would you want them to dive in and indulge in to get to know you a little better? I would say, I would say two. Obviously Tomboy, because I think that's the, the most perfect introduction to me. Um, but I, on a nice vulnerable side, I would say, I would say my song Strong Ones. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Strong Ones is on my first Tomboy EP. Um, that just talks about a vulnerable side of me that I went through. Yeah, last but not least, what is your message to all your Malaysian fans out here? Oh my God, shout out Malaysia. Shout out to all my Malaysian fans. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support, all the new supporters and all the new fans that love my music. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I cannot wait to come to Malaysia and meet all of you guys and perform for you guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned and stay with me. Stay a part of this crazy journey of mine. Um, and I won't let you down. New music on the way. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Destiny. It's so nice talking to you and meeting you. And I hope to see you in real life in person. Very yes. Good. Yep. Next time it'll be in person. I got you. I promise Amen. that. <laughs> Fly, Fly, Fly FM.